Hi guys, it's James from Travel Lingual here. In this video, I'm going to be comparing two pretty well-known language learning platforms, Pimsleur and Memrise, and I'm gonna be learning Japanese with both. Now I've signed up to Pimsleur Japanese and Memrise Japanese already, and given both platforms a go, so I'm gonna show you how they work on desktop and app. Now before showing you the Pimsleur and Memrise platforms, I just wanted to let you know that Pimsleur does offer all users a seven day free trial with no obligation to commit. So I've put the link so that you can access that below. And Memrise also has a free version of the dashboard that you can try out uh, and I've put the link through to Memrise uh, below as well. So you can access both of those at any point. I will give my opinions on the apps and the teaching methods used by both of these companies. But really this is just a guide for you to see uh, what the platforms look like when you're signed up as a premium member uh, and just a way for you to decide whether or not these language learning tools are right for you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we'll start with Pimsleur. Now when you get through to Pimsleur, this is basically what you're going to see. Their aim is to get you conversational quickly. So there's an emphasis on speaking, getting you to speak a language as quickly as possible. Once you've signed up to your seven day free trial, which is really simple, you're gonna get through to this screen for whichever language you've chosen. Obviously I'm learning Japanese. Now, you do get a lot of content with the Pimsleur Premium Plan. This is obviously for level one. And as part of level one, I have access to 30 lessons, okay? Now Pimsleur recommends that you do one lesson a day, that's 30 minutes a day. You also have access to all of these levels, each containing 30 lessons. But this is essentially what you're going to see if you do go to study at your desktop. So I'm gonna click on lesson one so that you can see exactly what it looks like here. Now all of these lessons last 30 minutes and then you have a number of activities here to basically go through what you've learned in that lesson. So I'm gonna press play so that you can hear what the average Pimsleur lesson sounds like. This is unit one of Pimsleur's Japanese One. Listen to this Japanese conversation. Sumimasen, Ego ga wakarimasu ka? Iye, wakarimasen. Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? Hai, skoshi wakarimasu. Now I've already taken five lessons of Pimsleur Japanese and I can confirm that you do by the end of that lesson fully understand what those two speakers are saying to each other and how to ask and respond. All of the lessons are pretty much in that format. You've got the narrator who's asking you to listen, you've got the speakers, the native speakers, you listen to them and you respond. But Pimsleur is a resource which doesn't allow you to be passive at all. You're not sat there listening, even though it is, you know, uh, they're audio lessons. You are prompted to, to respond and you've always got time to respond before listening to the, the correct answer and you then know whether you've, you've got it right or not. Now here, as you can see, you have flashcards, quick match, speakeasy and a speed round. Flashcards are always uh, a way to go through what you've learned in the lesson. And this is, this is it here really when it comes to the, the visual learning element. The rest you're, you're listening the whole time. So if you are somebody who's a visual learner, you like looking at, at pictures and, and um, you like looking at the words that you're learning. Pimsleur, I'm not saying Pimsleur won't be right for you, but this is a slightly different learning approach if you like. But there are visual learning tools within the Pimsleur platform. So if you wanted to practice Japanese to English, for example, Nihongo. this is an example of what you would uh, what you would see. So Nihongo, which means Japanese, has come up in that first lesson. So you listen, Nihongo. see if you get it right, and switch and move on. This is pretty much it when it comes to the visual aspects and the uh, and the recap. You also got a quick you match are round. American. You are American, for example, which is something that you've learnt in the first lesson. So, anata wa Amerika jin des. Anata wa Amerika jin des. You have the 30 minute audio followed by those visual elements. Now each lesson is going to teach you new vocabulary about a specific topic. You can see all of those here in skills. And you can also keep track of your saved vocabulary and, and your personal progress. But it's a nice, simple, easy dashboard to use with Pimsleur. Now let's just go through the Pimsleur app. As we can see, it's very, very similar to what we've just looked at. It doesn't really differ that much to the desktop version, unlike Memorize, where there's a huge difference. Now I quite like this app. I find it very simplistic. I think it's very clear and easy to use. You have a clear direction. You can flick between skills, 
practice with the visual learning elements that we've looked at. You can also download lessons and listen to them offline, which I think is a great feature with Pimsleur. And you can save them in your download section. When it comes to learning, it looks like this. Imagine an American man sitting next to a Japanese woman. He wants to begin a conversation, so he says, excuse me. Sumimasen. So this, again, is very straightforward. One thing I will just say about Pimslow, which I think is great, is that you can switch to driving. This is brilliant because it means that you can obviously learn on the go. You don't have to be interacting with the app. You can just be a bit more passive and listening to it. Even though Pimzo doesn't really allow you to be passive because it's constantly asking you questions and asking you to repeat what you've just heard, which is obviously a great way to practice your speaking. It gets you out of your comfort zone a bit and gets you familiar with listening to Japanese as well. Let's have a look at Memorize now. Now, Memorize claims to be the fastest way to learn a language and having used it for a week or so, uh, I agree and disagree. I think it's a great resource if you're looking to learn vocabulary and phrases quickly. It's not going to teach you to interact with people and speak with fluency in the same way that Pimsleur does. Uh, the best way that I can think to describe Memorize is like, you know, memorizing a, a travel phrase book that you would carry around with you in your pocket and just putting it all into your brain in quite a short space of time. It is a great resource if you're looking to learn key phrases when traveling, for example. But when it comes to actually conversing with people and understanding the Japanese language, uh, I would say that Pimsleur is a, is a far better uh, online tool. So when you get to Memorize, you're going to go to sign up. This is actually really simple. You just say the language you speak and the language you'd like to learn. They have a lot of languages that you can choose from. Dama. In this case, of course, I'm learning Japanese. Interestingly, no script. You can learn with the script as well. I'm just learning how to speak and understand. So I'm learning phonetically. And here you can sign up to the course that's most interesting to you. Now, when you have signed up, this is what you're going to see. You can set a study time, you can set goals, you can set the number of words and phrases that you want to learn every day. And where I do really like Memorize, I think it's an incredibly interactive resource. So if you're a visual learner and you really respond well to seeing imagery and seeing words written down, then you're going to get on with it. You're going to find it a very useful resource, even if, as I said, it's not going to get you speaking the language uh, in the same way that Pimsleur will. So what I'm going to do now is just show you the Memorize app, which I think is absolutely fantastic because I'd only been using the desktop version. I then used the app, which is recommended. And to be honest, I can see why it's much more advanced than the desktop version. And there's a number of features on the Memorize desktop version that you can't use on desktop. They, they tell you to go to the app. So that could be an inconvenience for you. Personally, I don't mind it because I spend a lot of time on my phone anyway, and I quite like being able to do this kind of thing on the go or in bed without having to have my, my laptop open. So this is the home screen that you'll see for Japanese. Now the Learn With Locals feature, I think is the best thing about a Memorize. Essentially, you're spoken to by a native Japanese person and you get used to hearing Japanese and repeating it after them. So let's have a look at what this looks like in practice. So what he's just said is Wi-Fi wa arimasu ka? Now, I've only been using Memorize for uh, a few days and I've already learned that this means do you have Wi-Fi? Maybe it's a bit of a giveaway because the start we hear Wi-Fi, it's pretty much the same. Wi-Fi wa arimasu ka? And then he repeats it. Ano, chotto sumimasen. Ano, chotto sumimasen. So again, these are all phrases that I've learned and gone through and it's now going through a recap process to make sure that I know them. So this is, hi, excuse me. Ano, chotto sumimasen. I tenki desu ne. I tenki desu ne. So these are really useful phrases. The weather's nice, isn't it? Or nice weather, isn't it? So things that you would want to learn if you're traveling to Japan, for example. I tenki desu ne. Now there's a lot of other exercises that you can do from the app. You can practice your pronunciation, you can learn words and phrases, you can do grammar exercises, you can review difficult words, Tokoro. you can take a speed review to test how well you know vocabulary, you can Barui. review your grammar, you can learn with locals as we've seen, you can take part in listening skills and you can perfect your pronunciation. So this is essentially a way uh, to record yourself speaking and you know get feedback from the app on, on whether or not you, you've done that well or not. 
So there we have it, a really quick look at the Pimsleur and Memrise language learning tools. I think Pimsleur is a great resource if you're looking to actually speak the language and understand what you're saying, to understand the grammar, to learn how to speak with native people and get used to listening to the language. But equally, I think Memrise is a great way to learn a lot of vocabulary that could be very useful and get it into your brain in a very short space of time. Both obviously use very similar language learning uh, methods, but both are quite different in the sense that Pimsleur is obviously an oral resource, so you're listening all the time. Does obviously, as we've seen, have visual elements, but Memrise is a resource which will be very useful for visual learners, those who like to actually engage and interact with an app rather than listen, be a little bit more passive in that sense. You can access the free seven day trial with Pimsleur via the link below. That's not for all languages, but it's for many languages, including Japanese. You can also access Memrise via the other link. Overall, I'm very satisfied with both of these apps. I hope this has proven useful. Please remember to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Sayonara.